Hello, this is Running Robert, and today we are playing Cleo, A Pirate's Tale. This is a game that came out a couple years ago. It was on Kickstarter, it was successful, and the game is awesome. So right now it is on the Steam Summer Sale for 90% off, which is like $1.50, so pretty awesome in that respect. I grew up in the 90s and the, you know, 80s and 90s, so like when we were doing King's Quest, Space Quest, Quest for Glory, and then of course the new like Indiana Jones game, all the LucasArts stuff. So this game really hit pretty well for me. So I really enjoyed it. So if you're probably in that same age range as me and you're looking for a little nostalgia and a nice adventure game, I would try here. So let's go ahead and let's start a new game and let's go from there. You wanna hear a story, hey? <laughs> First, let me ask you something. What is the most important thing about a story? A model hero? A villain that makes the blood freeze in your veins? A marvelously captivating narrator's voice? Or maybe a happy ending? Hmm. In any case, I'm sure there is no better way to start a story than with me. Pirate legend, Captain Kabika. <laughs> that was almost a little too easy. I did it. Again. Ah, oh, I am the best. Now, Ignatz's Will of the Wisp must be buried here somewhere. Alfonso, bring me the map again. Okay, so to do act documents, just press tab. We have the map here. Okay, I think, and we've got some hole marks here, so that's going to come be important later. Okay, so now we just kind of move around with the W, A, S, and D. When we get to an area, we can actually expect it. Mm, a pile it. of loosened earth. I think I should definitely dig here. Okay, and so that's how you dig. Pretty simple. Yikes! Not on the first try. <laughs> that has never happened before. <laughs> right, let's go over here. Again? Okay, uh, this is uh, <laughs> getting embarrassing. Okay, and last time. This is it. For all the money. There we go. Ah, now that looks better. <laughs> Okay, so I have a cutlass, I need to use it, so if I click here, I can select it. Take that, you crash dieters. Okay, so this is the only combat in the game, so it's not supposed to be hard or anything like that. It's just, you know, I chop these guys apart. And your last bunny man. Oh, and look at that, something's shiny. Okay, let's get the shovel back out. Hmm. Something glitters under the loosened earth right here. Okay. So we have this. And we need to figure out how to play it. But let's go back to the map because I think this is going to help. So this is the note or the key and the order. So we go C, E, a, B, E. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we got C, E, A, B, E. Boom. I like to thank LucasArts for helping me figure that puzzle out because it's definitely something I would, have, would not have picked up by myself. Okay. At last, Ignatius Willow the Wisp. Now, how about I continue the story of me, a Ponzo and the Will of the Wisp? Sure, I could tell you that. But this story is about someone else. Chapter 1 Captain Avery and a Death by Drowning. Cleo! Hey, Cleo! Cleo! Have you heard? 
wondering what butt hair Pete fished this morning. What? What did you just throw at me? Tell her, Pete. I I guess it was a shrimp head. What? What? No. You were supposed to tell her what you had in the fishing net this morning. You are throwing a shrimp head at me? I am sitting right next to you. Couldn't you have just tapped me on the shoulder or something? Come on. Cocktail umbrellas. <laughs> what? Cocktail umbrellas. Crazy, right? There were hundreds of cocktail umbrellas in Pete's fishing net. Hey, Susie. <laughs> do I get another bottle? Ugh, my name is Cleo. Why do you keep forgetting my name? It's easy. It's C L E. Yeah, whatever. Just get Pete the bottle. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so I got my bottle. Let's give that to Mr. Pete. Hey, did you guys know that Captain Kibika is on a treasure hunt with a monkey? Is on a treasure hunt with a monkey? Hey, Pete. What was the name of that bay again where you find all this crazy stuff? Oh, Panamu Bay. <laughs> the best fishing spot ever. I was just about to tell you something. Do I always have to tell you this? Nobody is interested in your made-up stories. We are bartenders. Our guests tell the stories. We serve the rum bottles. We listen. Listen? You must be kidding. I can literally smell what Pete did today. He fished, and he drank rum. It's not a bad day. Yeah, right. Pete caught the fish for Herbert's fish soup. While you were just leafing through your stupid fantasy pirate book. It's not fantasy. Takeaway Getaway is the book series about the famous Captain Kabeka. Kabeka is a real adventurer, a legend. Not such a loser as... Pete? You! Kyla, do you have more of this uh, spicy sauce? Cleo! No, uh, soy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring it, Pete. Cleo. Bring Granny Gavel a bottle of rum before you get bored to death. She's out in the dock, knitting. <sighs> aye, aye, Captain. Ah, okay, so let's get this next bottle of rum. Let's open the counter. Now, there are other people to talk to, but I will let you explore that in the game. Again, lots of humor in it, so very fun. So let's see what we got going on here. Come here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Pat Stevens. Hmm, the guy looks busy. Okay, and I assume this is... This is Granny Gabble. Yep. At least everyone calls her that. Nobody knows her real name. Hello, Granny Gabble. I have some more rum for you here. Yeah, I know. I'd like to be out there, too. Discovering new islands, going on adventures, being anywhere else in the world but here. <laughs> Okay, let's let's head back to the bar. There's more stuff to do. There's not something small, but it is okay. Oh. Wow, talking to Granny Gabble was a blast, as always. Can I please read my book now? Hey, where is it? Maybe I'll give it back to you when you've helped Hatchet Herbert in the kitchen. In the kitchen? Come on. Or your silly book ends up in the oven faster than you can say shrimp head. <sighs> okay. To the kitchen. <laughs> hey, Herbert. Hello, Cleo. What a nice day, huh? What a day. Mm-hmm. I'm supposed to help you. Great. That's even more fun. Please, fetch me a fish from the net. Sure. Okay. Fishy, fishy. <laughs> Why are you in such a good mood? Don't you notice anything about me? Look closely. And more fish. Hmm. A new hatchet? Wrong. A master cook knows a hatchet is only as good as... Fishy, fishy. The cook who chops with it? Wrong again. The board. Shopping on it. Ah, I see. A new cutting board. Correct. This board is the Stradivari among the cutting boards. Some say it's almost as good as one of cutting board pits boards. 
cutting board pit? What? Never heard of cutting board pit? He is a legend in the cutting board business. He only made a handful of cutting boards. Some say these boards are invaluable and unscratchable. Wow, so what happened to cutting board pit? He took a blood oath to never craft a cutting board again. And then he was gone. Nobody has seen him since. No. What the? There's a dead hand and a book in my fish. Wow, this is a real pirate's logbook, Herbert. Holy cow. That is not going into my soup. I will inform your dad about this. Okay. I need to know what's in this, but these bony things. Hmm. Okay, so let's set our another puzzle. So as, as I hit fingers, I open this stuff. So let's see. Okay. There we go. That's actually easier than I thought. Logbook of the fearless adventurer Captain Avery Alwick. I fought three days and nights against the monster until I could finally kill it. By today, I will leave the haven. Ha! The ship may sink to the bottom of the sea under the weight of all that gold. The wind blows right for me to sail to my final destination for now. Because there's still one treasure for me to search for. The biggest one of them all. The treasure of eternal memory. Bum, bum, bum. Whoa. A real pirate. <laughs> Ghost. Darn, Herbert is going to chop my head off. Let's go up here. We look at this. What the? That looks like a word, or a name. Ye call me Lily. My fish soup. My cutting <laughs> look at the tears. What's happened here? I. I mean, there was... Why the cutting board? Cleo? No, that wasn't me. It, it was a ghost. A ghost? Enough. Stop telling those lies. But I'm, I'm not lying. Cleo, it's time for you to grow up. No more of this crap. My book? No! No! Tomorrow morning, you will go fishing with Pete. What? But I can't even swim. I thought you wanted to go on an adventure, but I seriously don't want to see you around here. No back talk. Oof. Cleo couldn't sleep that night, for the ghost's appearance left her no peace. What was all of this supposed to mean? The ghost, the blood splatter, Yako Malaley. Cleo opened the mysterious logbook she had found and started to write. It is too early in the morning. Hi, <laughs> and that's good. Why? A huge shoal of fish swims directly into Panamu Bay every night. I don't know where they all come from, but an old fisherman saying goes, if you fish early in the bay, you will have a very good time. <laughs> you mean good day? Ah, don't make a fool of yourself. Have a look around and explore the boat. And don't worry, I'll let you know when we approach Panamu Bay. Cool. And so that is like, again, the beginning of the story. I have the tabs, which I can look at kind of like what is going on if I need to look back at something. So that is pretty cool. Again, there's about three hours of total gameplay for this game, uh, but I would definitely recommend it. And for $1.50, like it is almost a no brainer to get it. You'll enjoy it. And yeah, there you go. So thank you much for watching and listening. I hope you have a wonderful day.